Well, everybody knows that plants are important for the daily life on the earth, for the daily life of the human being. For the same reason, really, plants are important for uh, any adventure of space exploration that the human being can undertake. Plants produce oxygen, which is an essential component of, uh, for our life. Plants produce uh, um, water, which is also essential. Plants produce fundamental food. We are now using the fantastic resources offered by the International Space Station, which are just being now uh, fully available from the, even in the case of Europe, with the implementation of the Columbus Laboratory, which is an unprecedented tool for uh, biological, which is in general for scientific research, but in particular for biological and part more particularly for plant research. Gravity is an essential factor for the, for the growth of plants. Roots grow downwards and stems grow upwards because of the presence of the gravity vector. When this vector is absent, as in space, this process is totally disorganized. And the study of the particular cellular and molecular mechanisms of this process is essential to be capable of successfully growing plants in the future in the conditions of microgravity that exist in space. European scientists have developed a fundamental role in the discrimination of these cellular and molecular mechanisms. Then, the next step is to pass from the model plant that we are now using, Arabidopsis, is a plant that nobody is interested in except plant scientists because it's the model, so to pass to, uh, to uh, plants of economical value, such as rice or wheat or cereals in general, uh, soya bean, uh, plants which are interesting for human food. And then the next step is to produce a, a space garden or a, or a special uh, space culture capable of producing a crop, capable of being eaten or being taken by astronauts as they food. And also an interesting factor uh, as a psychological uh, relief. And we will be capable of producing plants that um, will be able of, uh, of growing deeper in the soil, or on the contrary, which uh, the roots uh, growing more horizontally. And this is very important in terms of the, the capability of taking the water, which is being found deeper or at the surface of the soil. So really the, the purpose, the objective, is really to translate, eh, to translate this, the Earth garden to Mars or to the Moon, or to the interior of the space station, or to whatever space vehicle, or whatever space planet, or space habitat that uh, the human being can put the feet on.